Okay runners, today we're going to talk about why vitamin C is important for you if you want to train and compete at your highest level. Now the general consensus in the scientific community is that vitamin C helps strengthen your immunity. So what I want to talk about is another important benefit of vitamin C and that's its role as an antioxidant. Antioxidants exist in the body for one major purpose and that's to neutralize free radicals. Free radicals are molecules that have an unpaired electron and they are highly reactive and in the absence of antioxidants they're going to seek out good stuff in your body to extract that other electron. Things such as fats, protein, muscles, even just your underlining DNA. So the reason why that becomes troublesome is that the sheer act of attacking these good substances in your body creates general inflammation all throughout the tissues and the muscles. All of this is even more important for runners for two reasons. The first one is free radicals occur in the body all the time. It's a very normal process that happens when the body is undergoing metabolism. But for runners, the amount of free radical production is a lot higher, between 10 to 20 times higher than when at rest, just because there's a lot more energy demands that you're putting on the body. The second thing is, is that the act of running is constantly tearing down your muscles and anything that leads to more inflation is going to compound the whole problem. So with that, let's nerd out for a second and check out the chemistry of why vitamin C is important. Okay, as promised, here's the chemistry of vitamin C. And it's got some really unique properties that make it a powerful antioxidant. So first of all, here's the structure of vitamin C. It's called ascorbic acid. And the reason it's called that is a combination of the Latin words prefix A, which means without, and scorbic, which is related to scurvy. And literally the definition of the word is without scurvy. And if you read the history of vitamin C, treating and understanding scurvy was such a big part of it. So it's an acid because it's got this carboxylic acid group here with this double bond to O and the OH. And like all good acids, what it wants to do is donate this hydrogen atom. And in fact, in the pH of the normal body, where you find this form is not here, it's actually almost predominantly in this form, which is the exact same structure, but you can see it's already donated that hydrogen atom. Now this whole molecule has a negative charge because oxygen has six protons, it normally has six protons and six electrons. Now it's got that extra electron from donating that hydrogen atom and keeping that, and so therefore you're left with a negative charge. What's unique about this property is that this molecule by itself is in a very high energy state compared to what it could be. And the reason it's in a high energy state is because it's in this tight five ring structure, so it's very compact. And then it's got this double bond which is holding it even tighter across the bottom. So what this molecule wants to do is reach a lower energy state as quickly as possible. And the way it's able to do that is in a unique way is when it encounters free radicals, which I donate, designate here with an R and here's the single lone electron. So what happens is this oxygen atom, and here are the seven electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one in the bond, in the covalent bond here, will take an electron donated to this free radical. And so in the process, you're left with this oxygen, this structure. So you lose an electron. Now you have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then here's six. So you have this alone pair. But what happens due to a phenomenon in chemistry known as resonance stabilization, this electron doesn't just sit here on the oxygen atom creating a free radical, which would be just as bad as having a free radical here. Instead, it's actually able to spread and localize, delocalize throughout the molecule, effectively making the double bonds here, double bonds there, double bond there, double bond here, double bond here. And so it takes this electron, spreads it throughout the molecule, creates a far lower energy state. And so the molecule wants this acid, citric acid wants it as quick as possible get from here to here. And it can do that when it rapidly interacts with free radicals. This important property of vitamin C is why it's such a powerful antioxidant and why it's super important for runners that are generating more free radicals than just the average adult.